next video we are going to solve question number three under files in jntu r18c language syllabus for that what i did was i copy pasted the program here and in my vs code okay so before writing this program so uh, the functions that we read like main function and print up and scan of all those basics i already covered a separate video so i am going to leave that video link in the description i highly encourage you to go and watch that video before you actually solve this problem before solving this problem we need to understand certain things about files basically when it comes to files we are going to do only three operations okay uh, first thing that we are going to do is open the file and read or write stuff into that and close the file that's it like any other physical file that we normally do we'll take a file open it uh, whether we wanted to read it or write it and then we are going to close it let's look at the syntax for opening a file so basically um, uh, you have this type called file like the data type that we normally have int char likewise we have this file type okay this is a pointer that actually points to the file that you wanted to open it clearly says that fp is a pointer to a file and f open returns a pointer to a file and also let's see an example okay uh, this is how we declare a file pointer and we open the file and name is where we are going to give the name of the file and the mode whether you wanted to open the file in read mode or write mode or append mode depending on the mode the file will be opened accordingly and the file pointer will be returned and it will be stored in fp so one example is you can actually declare um, a file pointer like this and go ahead fp and f open this is some uh, file location okay there is this file one.txt i am opening it in read mode or means nothing but read mode or simplify or simply we can actually write in a single line like this so after you open the file we are supposed to either read or write data into the file so basically uh, if you are looking at this video you might have already solved certain problems in c language okay so we are very much familiar with uh, printf and scanf printf is normally pointed to the monitor okay or the screen standard output and scanf always points to uh, the keyboard okay and similarly we have put care and get care put care is always pointed to the screen standard output and get care is always pointed to the keyboard okay but when it comes to files it is slightly different this time we are supposed to have functions or that are pointed to files instead of this monitor or keyboard so here we can see two functions get c and put c get c is basically to read the data from the file and put c is simply to put data into the file okay or write data into the file the syntax also you can see uh, this is a function uh, and it takes an argument all you have to do is a file pointer pass the file pointer and uh, you will see the data is being read uh, character by character from that file similarly when it comes to put c you are going to put the character here okay uh, and then uh, uh, whatever you put here that character will be written into the file or the file pointer that you normally give here we'll we'll try to use the same in our problem so finally we are supposed to close the file and the syntax for it is simply f close and the file pointer so let's start uh, coding the program okay so void main and here i'm going to include the header file also um, stdio.h so what it is saying let us see if we want to count the number of times a character occurs in a text file okay and then the file name and the character support as command line arguments okay we are going to give a file here and here i'm going to give some this is some random text to code in c language to identity identify the count of a given character in the file okay i just gave like this okay um we are supposed to read this file name and uh, and the character or the alphabet that we are supposed to find also from the command line argument so how we can actually read the data let's bring it up bring up the syntax here 
You can see that in the main function we have int rc it is the count of the arguments that i pass from the command line and number two is character arg v these are the basically actual arguments okay so i'm gonna use the same here in my code now what i'm supposed to do is i'm supposed to same thing file so let's bring up the uh, file open file syntax star fp pointer fpf open and here i will have the file name coming from the command line okay so the zero at or one so let's let's type in and then let's check it out so i am supposed to open it in read mode whether it's r1 or r2 uh, once when when we execute the code then at that point in time we'll try to check it okay and as usual whenever we are dealing with the files we are supposed to check whether that file is existing or not otherwise a null will be written so i can actually check against the null and if it is not there i can say unable to find or unable to locate the file and then simply i can exit the program so in order to use exit i am supposed to use std lib because exit is not found in stdio.h okay and our check is also there now i'm supposed to read this content line by line for that we need to use get c let's bring up the get c syntax okay and i can simply use in c is equal to get c of that fp and and once the contents of the file are almost done or completely done i'm i'm gonna get eof so i can actually check this against eof and run till then so i'm gonna simply delete this and if i do put care the data will be simply printed on the screen but here what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to check this against the character so in if c double equal to and first argument is what file name and character subtract so first name is first is file name and second is uh arg v in second argument uh, this will actually come as a string as that is a single alphabet that that will be stored as a character array so as that's going to be a single alphabet what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply give zeroth index okay and then simply i can do count plus plus what is count i'm going to take a variable and initialize it to zero and finally printf percentile s is percentile d times in percentile s is nothing but file okay so first argument is percentile s is nothing but alphabet so in my case alphabet is what this could be my alphabet is how many times it will be stored in count variable and finally this is a file name file name is stored in arg v1 that's it my program looks good and finally i have to close my file okay closed my file too okay my file looks good my code looks good okay and i'm gonna go ahead and compile it and run it and check it out gcc character count.c okay it is simple a warning we can ignore it but basically it is telling hey this is uh, so simply we can do like this also that will also suffice perfect we got this a dot out and let's go ahead and execute it unable to locate the file why what happened um okay that's the problem r1 and r2 right let's try to print up and check what is coming in arg v1 and oh oh got it got it we don't even have to do that basically we did not give the command line arguments here so we are going to go give the command line arguments as file dot text and then the alphabet that i wanted to search is let's say r okay i'm going to give r r is three times in the file dot text see it's working perfectly fine so is it really three times one and then two three yes perfect what i can do is here this time i can give uh, i okay 
I is eight times okay we can actually go ahead and count it and check it out so our program is working fine basically we read the contents of the file uh, we read the contents of the file and finally we 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 read the, the the important thing or the understand that we need to understand about this program is we read the data from the command line arguments okay and then finally we executed the code uh, um, solve the program using c language thank you all for watching this video if you like the video please go ahead and like the video share and subscribe for more similar tech content